another area of my research, another project that's been ongoing for quite a while is looking at uh, medical devices, therapy devices for individuals with various types of disability. And uh, I, this, this work was inspired by the use of horse riding for therapy, which I was introduced to about, uh, I guess around 2007 or 2008. And I had never heard of hippotherapy or equine assisted therapy. And someone got me interested in that. And the idea there is that the motion of the horse drives the rider's body through movement patterns that are similar to those of natural human activity like walking. So someone who has a disability and is unable to generate those motion patterns for themselves, by riding on the horse, they get to experience those motion patterns and the stimulations that causes in their body. And their body has to respond to that motion that's imparted to them by the horse. So being a mechanical engineer and learning how these motion patterns can be beneficial to people, I uh, began wondering, well, what if we had a mechanical device, a machine that could faithfully and realistically generate those complex three-dimensional motion patterns? And that was the birth of this project. And uh, over years of, of work and about four generations of prototypes, we have a device that uh, we, we call the mechanical horse uh, simulator and it reproduces the realistic motion patterns that you experience when riding. And you sit on it, and it's driven by a single motor. It's a, it's a nice, elegant, compact design. The idea is not to replace the horse, but to complement horse riding and make the access to that kind of motion pattern available to a broader spectrum of people and, and to make it available if the weather is bad or someone has an allergy or if, if it's just not safe to put someone up on a a real horse, so this, this can provide that motion pattern as a complementary tool. The research that we have going on in our lab is looking at the basic responses of the human body when it experiences the riding motion. When the body is riding, what does that do in the body? How does the body respond? What kind of stimulus is it causing in the body? And so we have a very nice motion capture sim system and we can record what are the motion responses in the body. We have a very nice system that measures the muscle stimulations, an EMG, wireless EMG system. So we can monitor specific muscles uh, left and right side and see how are those, mus those muscles responding. Muscles in the core, muscles along the back, muscles in the shoulder, muscles in the, in the legs and upper thighs. Um, in the neck, uh, how does the body respond to this motion pattern? We can also, we're also doing uh, functional tasks before and after. So uh, if someone does a balance test before and then they ride on the horse and they do the balance test after, how does uh, riding on the motion, uh, the, the motion of riding on, the, on this um, horse simulator affect the person's balance and immediately after riding or some short period of time after or even longer periods of time after. So we have that kind of ongoing research in our own lab here at The Brick.